feel free to interrupt me at any point or just you can ask questions in the little chat box. Um, great week for Teller. Things are things are looking up. It's been really busy in the Telegram channels, as most of you guys know. Um, so uh, just some of the big developer updates that have happened over the past two weeks. So I know last week we did not have a call. Uh, I'll be honest, mainly it was just because I forgot about it and nobody reminded me. So <laughs> if you guys want to call, make sure you remind me because the alarm went off and I completely forgot about it. So the next thing, so the core update. So I'm sure a lot of you saw, we actually updated the Solidity contracts last week. Um, this was actually to fix a bug in the Solidity contracts. Basically what could happen is, is that if you uh, dispute, if a miner say he submitted like five values right in a row, he was really good. Uh, and we were going to dispute all of them. He was just malicious. Well, only you would dispute him, but only the first miner would actually, the first disputer would would actually get paid out because the other, he only staked a thousand. Um, and it basically wouldn't, it would kind of freeze the system. Um, how it got through, I don't know. It, it wasn't like the system could break. Basically, it would just not allow the guy who disputed the second through fifth values to get any money. Um, which was a problem. You don't want that. You don't want him to lose the dispute fee. Uh, so we fixed that. So it's it's all good now. Now the guy gets his money back. Uh, but hopefully we can catch disputes really fast, uh, which leads us into the minor update. So this is kind of the minor call. Um, the big updates that we want to do still. So the first thing kind of based off of those disputes, we want to make sure that we can catch disputes really fast. So one of the things is as you move forward with our system, um, you know, technically the values aren't finalized for a day, but it's going to be one of those things that as if we have a really good dispute system and say anytime there's even close to a bad value, we dispute it like within within a block. So within like 10 minutes on the teller system, then projects who are using us know that you can you can accept a, a value that's an hour old. And you really reduce that finality time just because you know if they feel like somebody would have disputed it it creates a much stronger system so we want to make sure that we build that into the miner to automatically dispute bad values uh, and we're working on it uh, there's kind of we're working now on just the logic behind it so some of some of the hard pieces when it comes to it is we we need to basically just create a historical database of all accepted values within a range so if you if you know the miner will let's say that you requested the price of Bitcoin, we'll give you back the price of Bitcoin. We've been storing it in our little internal database. Uh, we need to know like, what is the range of acceptable values for that price? So, you know, given say a one to 5% error, you know, like, and that should be a variable that you can control. How much leeway do you want to give people? But let's say that the min and max of that range was, you know, the Bitcoin price was anywhere from eight grand to 10 grand. It was a volatile 10 minutes. Uh, as long as they submitted a price in there, you wouldn't dispute it, but if it goes outside, you would. Uh, it requires just a lot of different logic about um, what are some of the thresholds to dispute because some people may want it to be very, very tight for certain IDs and some people may want it to be uh, very loose for others. So if it's, you know, sometimes if sometimes these things don't have specific pieces you know especially if you're querying it only every 30 seconds maybe you missed a min or a local min or something um so you might be more risk averse in, in your disputing um it's just just some of those things we want to give people a lot of control over just because we know we don't want you automatically submitting anything um and then losing your dispute fee uh because you may you know the code was wrong so if you want to help out with that let me know um some fun thinking the next big thing so the gpu update so i know a lot of you are worried about a potential gpu update uh to give you timeline so we're going to hold ourselves we're going to hold our feet to the fire um uh, by christmas we want a kind of mvp gpu miner and what this means is that this is in no way going to be some really fancy, you know, 
GPU miner like some of those other systems, but we want people to be able to start testing out a GPU miner by Christmas. So if you have contracts renting CPUs, don't make them for three months or something like that. Um, odds are we'll probably put out the code around Christmas time for a GPU miner and people will switch over. Uh, people will kind of code on it themselves once we have it out there to make it better. So don't, um, yeah, I mean, if you wanna help build it too. So if you wanna be, you know, there, there's a lot of different types of GPU builds. So if you have AMD chips versus Nvidia chips or um, even a more custom uh, GPU build, we may not be actually building it for you. So, you know, right now we're looking at the the CU library, the Gorgonia CU library from, um, which is, I can post a link to it in this call, but if you're actually curious on it, uh, it handles a lot of chips, but it doesn't handle them all. So if you have some chips uh, and you wanna make sure that they're um, sort of handled, help us develop the miner, help us, you know, at least let us know what you are looking for. Uh, and we'll make sure that we can handle it or, or at least give it our best shot. So, and yeah, if you're helping to to build the miner, you'll probably have, don't know how it works right away. So you'll be one of the first people in there. So come help us out. Um, yeah, so that that's kind of it for the miner updates. You know, people, as you guys know, the, the price, the liquidity is is really picking up on exchanges. So I'm guessing we're going to see, you know, we, we saw a lot of miners drop off over the past, probably, month um and now i'm guessing we're going to start getting some more in uh so just kind of be prepared for that uh as people come on board uh the other development things that we can do uh we're going to be setting up a grants program so work for tributes uh things that we're going to want done if you're a javascript programmer uh, you can help us build out teller scan um you know you you can be a designer even a, a front-end guy uh, help create some charts there's a lot of things that you'll be able to do um even you know just charts of the difficulty charts of the number of miners in the system charts of um just kind of the rewards just different things like that and we're going to want all of that stuff to be posted up on teller scan or even if you create an open source python library to do that uh any of those things we want to create a grants program to reward you guys for doing that um Obviously, we'll create a grants program for the miner. Other thing too, integrations and projects. You guys want to work on, you want to build a derivatives contract that settles to a teller contract. You want to build a, you know, a stable coin. You want to build an insurance contract. Any of those things, um, putting out those examples, those are going to be great things for the ecosystem for people to see how it actually works, how it happens. You know, we want, you know, help us as you do that, helping us to update our documentation. Those kind of things are, are gonna be really important moving forward as more projects start to implement us. So if you wanna do some of those things, we'll give you some tributes to say thank you. Um, and lastly, you know, if, if you're really into the research thing, uh, if you really want to, to get down, you know, do kind of the next pieces. So there's, we'll probably over the next few months be working on kind of the V2 of Teller. So whether it's the V2 of the miner, which includes a GPU, you know, um, or even the V2 of the system, which how can we make it better? How can we increase the speed of Teller? How can we bring back more value so we can return an array, for instance? How can we um, sort of make it more secure from a crypto economic perspective? All of those things are gonna be part of the V2. And if you're really big into uh, almost just more of the research and, and design piece of um, cryptocurrency systems, that, that might be something you're interested in. So just reach out, you know, we wanna make this as much of a, a community effort as possible because we realized, you know, as we were building out the V1, like we we personally could reach out to people and ask them questions, but we didn't have a whole lot of people kind of digging through the code while it was still in open source mode. But then as soon as we went live and there was money behind it, then people gave us a bunch of good ideas. And you know, we, we wanted to sort of in the development phase, we want you guys to help out. Um, so yeah, and, and I guess the last piece, um, it's, I'm gonna be, as you know, we, we do a lot of medium articles or we try and do medium articles. Um, what do you guys wanna see more of? Um, I know I put out a, a fun one on just kind of governance last week. Uh, I love writing 
uh, do you guys want an article on the token economics of the system? Do you want it, do you want it to be white paper esque? Do you want it to be more uh, marketing wise? Do you want another Teller 101? Um, you know, what are some of the articles that you guys want to see? Um, let us know um, and or help us write them. Uh, it's a good way to get published and, and get, we have quite a few readers on our medium, so. All right, one guy says tokenomics. Um, yeah, so, you know, I was gonna thinking about just the basic tokenomics of Teller and um, things that can work there. So, you know, I know we have some of those articles that are up there on Medium that were written uh, kind of before the system even launched um, and can be almost academic-like in, in how they read. Um, so maybe we'll put, we'll put up some, some more 101 token economics pieces and then, um, Maybe even some more advanced ones with some kind of we maybe maybe at some point like after we're we've launched for six months completely maybe we can have like a um, just how we thought the system would work out versus the projections in some of the things because I know you know the the supply yeah the projections can be different and same with our initial projections of difficulty um, they can be different so yeah. Um, those are some things. So the things right now that are requested in the chat room here, we got tokenomics, uh, supply projections, and a one pager. And then uh, he, and then somebody else wants more minor analytics. And I think the minor analytics, um, that's part of what I'd love somebody just to throw them all, all those kind of charts up on Tellerscan. Um, you know, I can point you out if anybody's curious on doing that, I, I can tell you exactly how to, um, yeah push that out over the next week. We'll also, uh, I did a little weekend hackathon project and I just made like a REST API um, I'll be pushing out. So then you can just like hit a REST API and get like the difficulty and the number of miners in the system, the total supply. Um, that way you don't have any, of it. it's like really easy to get and you can pull it and save the data however you want um, versus having to deal with the nodes and things like that. So we want to make it really easy. Um, for everyone. So another person wants a stat page. So just kind of statistics of the system. So yeah, a lot of just one pagers to, to pass around market. Um, so yeah, we, we can definitely do those. And if you guys want to help us do those, let us know uh, any data scientists out there. So uh, from the few people here, any questions? Um, no, okay. And uh, So Hydroxy, he asked for a live view of the miners and the total supply locked. Um, so, and Tellers, Tellerscan should have a live view of mining. Uh, Tellerscan doesn't always work. It's, um, it should be fixed now. I know we were having some issues. Uh, there, there were some nonce decoding issues in there. So, um, I'll, yeah, I mean, some of it's just a lot, since it's, it's all client side. So we actually don't, Tellerscan doesn't run a database because we wanted it to be sort of decentralized in that way to where, you know, Tellerscan, if you actually just go pull the GitHub code, you can run on your machine and it works the exact same way. Um, we didn't want it to, to rely on something centralized as far as like us running a big data server. Uh, we're, we're trying to do it the right way. Uh, eventually we'll have like, you know, a little node client that you can run and everything, but that's, that's kind of the long-term dream. Man, and I lost, lost where I was going on that. Um, but anyway, that's, that's about it. We'll be, we'll be releasing stuff throughout the week. Um, hopefully a lot of good news comes down soon. Um, and it should be. So stay tuned guys. Any other questions? No. Okay, cool. Um, oh, yes. Last, lastly, but before, before I cut the recording. So you remember, we're, we're bringing it back. Meme of the week. Um, this was, we, we had a meme of the week, and I think it goes to, who was it? Uh, the picture of Brenda as the nun. <laughs> Definitely wins. So, yeah. Luxane, CEO. Uh, I'll pass you five tributes. Send me your uh, address. So, 
Thanks, everyone. Um, talk to you guys soon. Bye.